Today, I'd like to talk to you about the first problems I encountered, first setback, or the first disappointment. I managed to get all the cables out of the box and plug them in to show you what's there, and also the next stage is to make up a box to hold the controller in. And that's when the first problem disappointment come up. I unloaded all the cables and the two shells, and I'll pop a picture up and it will show you the, the connection so as you can see what numbers I'm referring to. That's the ones that came in the box. And I contacted the supplier. There's the main one, the CN3. It's a five meter, 25 wire. So it's DB25, so it's a thick cable. And that goes to their relay card. They have a special relay card with DB connectors on it. And it was in the box. Her attitude was, look in the box. I said, no. Nah. So then I sent another email. Look, it's not in the box. Then you get an email back. Oh, we sent it to you. Luckily, I videoed the unboxing. I'm not a fan of unboxing videos, but please do it. Everything you buy from China these days, put the camera up, film it, and open it up, because then you've got proof that it wasn't in the box. Then they come back to me and they said, ah, oh, we sent it, it was taken out at customs. So they said the customs stole the cable. Plenty of cables there. Why they picked that particular one, I do not know. And I said, no, that's, that's not right. So then she said, well, okay, you have to order it, pay for it, and we send it to you. I said, no, I've already paid for it. You should send it to me. And this is the trouble of going with a company or a factory direct. You lose all your security. Stay with eBay. If there's a problem, you just click. I've got a problem with this seller, and it's sorted. So it's backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And then her approach was, well, buy something else, and we'll send it to you. I said, no, I will not buy anything off you again if I do not get the things that I pay for in the first place and she was upset that I distrust her but the proof is in the pudding price Chinese they like to get the price as low as possible sending you rubbish robbing you many many different ways but customer service is the most important thing because when you get the price it will stay there Customer service goes up and down, so that's very important. So that was a big disappointment. So she has now agreed to send the missing cable at their expense. Great. Their problem, their expense. But then that brings me to the bigger disappointment. You have all these terminals, and okay, this is the one that's missing. We still got the CN13 and the CN6, and these are all DB connectors, but there's your standard DB 9s and 15s, 25s, but there's a 26 in here, and there's a, I think this is a, I'm not gonna count it, a 30 or something, but it's a triple row. And they supply two plastic shrouds for all the cables you make up yourself. But they did not supply the other plastic shrouds for the harder to get ones, these ones. So you go on eBay, very hard to get because the technology is fairly old. Remember the old days? when you had a dot matrix printer <laughs> your parallel printer cable yeah that's what's in there remember your serial for your monitor and all that db 9s and 15s and all that sort of stuff that's what's in here they're using old-fashioned technology maybe secure maybe great but it's old-fashioned and when you try to source these replacement shrouds very hard to get on ebay some are male some are female so the males have the pin sticking out the female at all. So you might find one, but it's not the one you want. So that's another disappointment. So I went through my old printer cable box. People laughed. Oh, what are you keeping that crap for, you know? But if you want 15 wires in the cable, those printer cables are great. Or 25 cables, whatever. But that's also a problem. So I went around and the only one that I could get to fit was the old printer cable, which is great. It happens to be for the CN3, but the trouble is they're relatively short. It might make it, it may not. So that's a problem there. The next problem is you might find a cable and I look through all the monitor cables, oh great, there's a DB9 or a DB15. But you look at the back of the plug, instead of having all the pins, I might have a couple missing. And I've cut a couple of cables up and they're not as many wires in there as what you think. Every 
pin hole, something is connected to it. So if it's a 25, there's 25 wires coming from it. So you, it's no use getting an 18 cable or a 12 cable because it won't do. So you then now have to find a source of cabling with the full number of wires in it. So that's another problem. And why are these problems? Well, you get this monitor today, but then you have to buy this. And then you have to wait for that delivery. Then you have to wait to find out, oh, you have to get this. So the time for setting up might be a weekend, turns out to be months long. So that's that's why it's a disappointment. Another disappointment, the pinouts, I've got a dot text written what it's been, but over here, we're seeing 13, nothing. So you have to go to the website, look at the different models, go through a little picture, and then on the picture, it shows you what the pinout is. So you have to download that picture and print it or keep it on your computer for your reference. So that's bad. So no cable, no shrouds for the missing plugs and incomplete diagrams on the back. So they're physical, easy fixes that they could do, but they haven't. But now the next problem is when you're coming up to make your box, so you know the box is going to be this big and that, all right? Because they are the... DB, look how far they stick up. The box here is 65 mil. Oh, this is this, we'll say the tallest one here. And that's 180. 65 to 180, that's about the same size. So the problem is, you've got the plug sitting there and you've got the curve. Depending on how thick the cables are, the bigger the curve. But you're also, gravity is going down this way. So you've also got gravity pulling these plugs in this direction. This is in tension, that's in compression, because it's tilting. So instead of having an e equal load, you've got the twisting of the cable, the connections, and all that sort of stuff. That's a bad design. They could have placed these plugs and had them as a series along the side here. So they just clicked in that way. Your cabling would have come straight back, and straight back, which is down to the ground, gravity would have been pulling it all out much better. Also, if you were getting the one for the mill, and you had the mill, and you open up your doors, and you close your doors, and you have your panel over here, or over here, so instead of only being that thick, it's going to be this thick. So it's going to be like you're walking through an old medieval castle, you know, with the 20-foot wall through the front door. So it has to be this much bigger. 200 mil is what the thickness is has to be. So that means more material, more structural strength in it, so a lot more problems there. They could have used uh, modern connectors, you could have used the uh, screw type series along here, uh, push-in terminals, different types, you know, your JST type or whatever. But then that also brings me to another problem. Because these cables are multifunction, by that I mean, well this plug here has got your X, Y and Z. So there's three. But then you will have, say, the linear scales. I have the scales, runs up, cable runs up to the scales. But then I'm wanting to use a reference from the scales to the home switch. But the home switch is, say, on this one. And some inputs on that one, some outputs on that one. So you have one massive cable, and then it looks like you have to have another breakout board somewhere on your machine. So you have your limit switch running up to here, then running back up to there, and then that comes back to there, to there, to there. If you're making up your own cable, which you'll have to, they'll end up looking like this. Multi cables come out, out of the one plug. So you'll do that, and you'll have the problem that these holes aren't as big for the number of cables you're putting in. So that is a problem. So if they had it broken up into each section, okay, this is what, what you use for limit switches, this is what you use, and you could just screw in your own cable. So you can have half a dozen cables coming out of the ones you want, not say one cable and two wires out of that. So that's also the problem. Type of cable, the position of the cable, the type of connectors, the way they're connected. So it's going to be a bigger box, a heavier box, and more difficult wiring than what I had hoped. Some modern controllers, they all use the Ethernet connections, just push it in. They're normally twin pair twisted, so it's less than a fiction interference and all that. If I was designing this, like I said, series of cutouts in there, and you push your own little plugs in. That's a disappointment there, not unsurmountable, but just time. And the next 
video will be on making the box. I've met a uh, very, one of the nicest guys I've, I've met for a long time. Very, very generous. And he's helped me out with the material for the box. That will be the next video on making the, the box. And then once the box is made, I then have to determine where it is on the lathe. The box is half the length of the lathe. So that's going to be a problem. And whether it will pivot and all this sort of thing. But that's all for the next video. So I hope that's not too much of a downer for you. But it's letting you be aware of what you need. Tell them that when you order your, your, ta your parts, tell them you want a picture of what's in the box before it goes in. That way they've, they've got no qualms. Check it when it comes in. Let them know straight away. And hopefully there's not more shortcuts to come inside. So if you've got any questions, subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.